intrigued. You bought a US startup, X Perception it's called. Visual perception is what you're adding. I really want to understand what part of artificial intelligence you really want to own. It's more than just search here. Well, if you look at in the last few years, we have developed you know, a, a real capability in machine learning you know, for speech recognition, you know, for, uh, video, uh, computer vision, uh, and, and also for autonomous driving. And obviously, we continue to uh, acquire technologies uh, in you know, 3D object recognition, uh, a number of uh, you know, companies that we're looking at. Uh, and also, we are excited to uh, open in our uh, autonomous driving platform you know, this week. Uh, make sure we have uh, the partners and the developers to use uh, this uh, open platform to develop uh, you know, applications and, uh, and services. Uh, so if you look at, you know, this is the first time uh, that any company you know, opened the technology and the platform. So we really want to you know, accelerate the development and the commercialization uh, of uh, autonomous driving. Uh, this is uh, really profound and uh, significant. Well, commercialization, where do you sit in the commercialization of autonomous driving? Will you end up making your own autom automobiles? Will you be just working with other car manufacturers? Who then owns the data and reaps the rewards? Uh, that's a great question. You know, right now, we're looking at uh, uh, making sure we you know, have the technology right, uh, have the right partners to solve uh, you know, all the issues to make that uh, commercially available. You know, if you look at here, you know, we, our platform you know, has uh, uh, you know, a software, a hardware, you know, data, and the cloud services. So we will you know, develop and maintain uh, you know, the right type of uh, you know, algorithms, uh, models, uh, uh, and development tools, and, and also all the high-definition uh, you know, mapping uh, for the industry. Uh, and you uh, mentioned about you know, uh, the platform, the open platform. You know, we actually borrow the uh, code name Apollo, uh, and you know, this is uh, as significant as uh, uh, the lunar landing you know, many years ago. It really requires uh, a collective wisdom and investment uh, of many people and many companies uh, to benefit the society as a whole. We are yeah, very excited we'll about that. But will car makers in the long term want to see you keeping the data? Will you have to share it with them because the value is in that data? Well, there, there will be different kind of data. You know, we have a tremendous capability in data collection, in data analytics, uh, in machine learning. Uh, but you know, those data, some of those will be will be shared. You know, this is uh, uh, the whole industry, and and you know, their data from users, the data from uh, the mapping, their POIs, uh, and the data will be shared. Obviously, you have to respect the, the user's privacy. Uh, but data is valuable. Technology is valuable. But more importantly, it's uh, to have an open you know, platform uh, that uh, all the industry players can can share, can work upon. Uh, um, if you look at um, this, it's highly competitive. Uh, yes. Yeah, highly competitive. Will you beat the likes of Waymo and Uber to um, producing these sorts of autonomous vehicles? No, we are the first company to open our uh, technology platform to the industry. Uh, and we hope this uh, you know, will speed up the development. Uh, we hope uh, others uh, will follow us. Uh, if you look at it, you know, it is highly competitive. A lot of companies are doing similar things. Uh, so you know, for us to open this, people actually can build new technologies, innovation, you know, based on the things we have already built. Uh, besides, uh, you know, all the data, all the models, algorithms uh, we are developing uh, are pretty advanced. So uh, yeah. you know, the sharing with the industry uh, will uh, be a leap forward. And Dr. Sang, I want to move just away from automotive vehicles as such and into artificial intelligence, the wider part, because this is in a real area that Baidu was pushing. And in particular, here in Silicon Valley, you had Silicon Valley Labs and, and the loss of Andrew Ng, who, of course, was a key leader behind that particular part of the business. How damaging is that to Baidu or how much are you still able to remain resolute in your commitment to AI here in the Valley? Yeah. I, I love Andrew, and, uh, uh, and obviously uh, Andrew made a tremendous contribution to Baidu. We thank him uh, uh, for that, and, and we wish him uh, uh, the best in his next endeavor. Uh, but having said that, you know, Baidu has a lot of uh, you know, talents, uh, technology leaders, uh, you know, business leaders in artificial intelligence. We have uh, a, a large group uh, of, uh, of people working on machine learning you know, for quite a number of years in Beijing and, and, and in Silicon Valley. 
uh, obviously we're, we continue to look for uh, talents. Uh, that's uh, one of the reasons I'm here. Uh, I was actually uh, at a Stanford University uh, to give a recruiting talk, and I was uh, very happy to see you know, packed students who showed uh, you know, enthusiasm and a strong interest in working for you know, Baidu, working on machine learning. Uh, it is uh, very exciting, and you know, Baidu really bet the company uh, in artificial intelligence. You know, we believe this uh, is the next uh, an era, uh, and you know, that's why we're developing uh, a operating system you know, for AI. You know, we have uh, applications uh, to the home. We uh, are making technologies that enable autonomous driving, and we move uh, the technology to cloud uh, for, for business applications. Uh, so in the next few years, you will see array of uh, products and services coming from Baidu. And this is all built on the talent, which is not only in China, but also globally, especially in Silicon Valley here.